this is part 48. This is line 3. And this is where the excitement really begins. Okay? Look at the title of this one. Line 3 Alien UFO Study Wow DNA. Tridacna Gigas Chill Bolton Arexibo Radio Crop Circles. Those are the topics. Okay, so based on Egyptian symbols 111 equals the number 3. Notice how they create a cross section V where the top of the point is 121 divided by 4. Okay, so we're talking about the Y well signal. So we've got the 111 here and the 111 down there and then 121 divided by 4. So I do 3. I made these into a 3 because that's what they're considered in the Egyptian symbols. 3 divided by 121 divided by 3 divided by 4. Okay. In my equation, I look for numbers that are somehow connected or beside one another and figure out the fractions and see if when I Google that number, what comes up. So here's our equation, 3 divided by 121 divided by 3 divided by 4. That equals 0 0.00206611157. Okay, so it says that's the answer to my equation. Now let's Google this number and see what we find in relation to NASA, spaceships, or alien DNA. What is this wow signal pictured here on the left about? That was my question when I got to line number three. Okay. And that's the strong narrowband signal. It was picked up on August 15, 1970 from Dr. Jerry R. Amen, in case you're just joining us here. So there's the number that we find and then the words outer space. See? this number here and I add the words outer space to see what can we come up with it. So it comes S-N-E-C-I-D's 2-T-P-C Reposordial U-T-L peaked major constant of both the inner and outer mucus layers of the colon and something it says roll in tight junction specific obliteration of intercellular space. So let's just look and see what it looks like right here. This is the website here. Okay, I'm waiting for it to load up. Let's go on. So table V 1.2 see proteins identified by at least two TPC in one condition in membrane fraction of nasal epilethial cells, MNEC, and the corresponding peptide count in each group analyzed. So I have crop circles, Maya equals Kepler, Pegasus is the notes there. My thoughts. You will notice that most of the numbers and equations that I Google bring up scientific data that relates to proteins, DNA, and NASA associations, and spaceship data. Components and ingredients used in propulsion rockets for space travel or satellites. At the beginning of my search, the lost city refers to alien proteins, things found by the vents that were considered not from Earth, but from outer space, an alien life form living here on Earth that's age goes back to 3,000 years is still alive. That's amazing. Okay, so with mathematics, 1679 is a unique product of two prime numbers, 23 and 73. Any sufficiently intelligent light form would no doubt look for unique universal constructs, such as a prime number, chemical element, frequencies, and binary digits. So that's what their, um, what their equation is for um, a crop circle. And this is from the, word, uh, the website cropcircleresearch.com. Take a look at their uh, website. They got a lot of cool stuff. And that's where I got a bit of the information here. See? Okay. So on Tuesday, August 21st, 2001, two new crop formations were reported near Chilberton Radio Telescope in Hampshire, UK. Both were very impressive looking and consisted of a large number of small pixels which when viewed from the air formed a recognizable shape unlike many other crop formations. One per represented a human face and the other resembled a radio transmission that SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence sent from the Art Siebel radio telescope in 1974. So we sent out a message to the aliens in 1974 trying to contact them and we got an answer back in 2001 and it's a picture made in a crop circle. Okay, mm -hmm. so then what I found also in relation to our number, let's go back to our number here, 
this 00206611157. The next thing that pops up is this ALH84001 alien DNA found in a meteorite that was found in Allen Hills, Antarctica on December 27, 1984 by a team of U.S. meteorite scientists. It will be interesting to see what sorts of metals are found in the DNA. Will it be the same components as the incredible message response from the aliens in a crop circle found over in Europe dubbed the Chilbolton Cribble Message Formation? Okay, so there's my Google Notes. Okay, I am unable to understand this data. It comes up from a spreadsheet, so I'll show it to you and you can figure out what it's for. The idea girl. Oh, where's the spreadsheet? Huh? Um, oh, that's it. Take a look here. Well, oh, there's the Allen Hills 8401. So I'll just Google this. That's what it looks like. That's a meteorite they found that has alien data in it, or DNA in it. Sorry. There they are. Those little critters living in it. That show that it's not from Earth. Okay. So that's that link there. Um. Okay. So. Another thing that comes up is the Lost City, the only event field of its kind yet. It was discovered by accident in the year 2000. That's what it looks like. Okay. If you go to www.lostcity.washington.edu, it brings it up. There you go. Look at this. They're bringing the undersea world. They find all sorts of cool little things. So they're looking around this Lost City hydrothermal field and they're finding all sorts of alien creatures that we've never seen and they are not from Earth. They are specifically from DNA dating back 3,000 years ago. And it says alien DNA connected to giant clams found on Earth. Oh, that's another one. Guess what? That's the next thing. Anyways, um, Deborah Kelly is a professor to, at the Center for Geobiology. June 3rd, she made a very short stopover in Bergen and gave a guest lecture about a unique hydrothermal vent field entitled Lost City, one of the most extreme environments on Earth. The information in this brief article comes from her talk from the wonderful University of Washington website about Lost City. So, of course, when this came up, <laughs> I went crazy. We're on line three, and I'm finding information about alien DNA on Earth and in, in these vents that's 3,000 years old. The original message is from Maeus. They are 3,000 years old. So I'm like, wow, this is cool, right? So let's go a little more. The Lost City Hydrothermal Vent Field is not located along a mid-ocean ridge where most of the world's vent systems have been found. It's at about 15 kilometers away from the mid-Atlantic ridge at 30 degrees north in an area of the seafloor that does not have volcanic activity. This area, however, does have extensive faulting and uplifting activity. Over 1 to 2 million years, this lifting activity at the intersection of two major faults has resulted in the formation of a massive, the Atlantic Massive, so you can look that up, rising nearly 4,000 meters above the sea floor. It is an example of a feature called a core complex. Um, okay, so we're not going to read everything, right? It's really unique because it has hydrothermal activity. It's not volcanic, but chemical. It is driven by heat producing reactions of deep mantle rocks within the water. Serpent serpentization. So I see this word. Okay, what does that mean? Serpentization reactions not only produce heat, but they cause an increase in volume, which may also be contributing factors in the formation of the massive. Or these things that look like volcanoes, but they're not volcanoes. It's an interesting chemical reaction because it leads to an abiogenic formation of hydrocarbons. Lost City is very different from most known forms of hydrothermal activity, that forming black and white smoke is, for example. Okay, so the next thing that I find, well, actually, I added this note, okay? This is further on, but I actually found that there's this giant clam that has the same DNA as these Lost City little critters living by this vent. Isn't that cool? And there's actually, there's one more um, piece of activity. These little guys have, um, what's it called? Arsenic in them. And this arsenic uh, stuff is what they feed on, and it has something to do with their DNA. That's how they can tell it's alien. But I cover them later on, but I just brought it in here just to show you. It's Tridacna trid 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 gigas, giant clamshell, not part of the museum collection. 
Internet stones. This is from this guy's website. It doesn't want to open. Great. So evidence. Alien DNA found on space and Earth. So there you go. There is some sort of alien life form out there. And we've got some evidence here. Okay, so the next video is going to be line four.